Hello and welcome dudes, we're going to be watching the state of play, freaking May 2024. Yes, we're going to be seeing some new games, seeing some new products, and I pray to God that they show Monster and Wilds. <laughs> so alright, let's get to it. I'm Alright, let's Kizzle see Bash, what we got. Head of let's get some good stuff. PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family, Firewalk. This team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. We announced their first game, Concord, Concord. last oh, year. God. And today, they're revealing gameplay captured in-engine on PS5. But well, first, show us some gameplay. here's an extended vignette introducing some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Yeah, 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 yeah. that's cool, that's cool. Enjoy. Show some gameplay. Gameplay. Hey, play, please. Damn, this thing is loud. Holy crap, Roni. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, not actual gameplay. Thank you. A few moments earlier. It was a spontaneous creative decision made after years of careful research. Being really old and almost dying a bunch doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Okay, Besides, I'm already getting like Marvel work. vibes from this how much mug. longer for the upload? Uh, two more minutes. Hey, start time. Try it with hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. No. Where's this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, trust me, we're professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then... Like, straight up, no, can't, you can't tell me this doesn't have Marvel vibes to it. <laughs> that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this blue hey, Mar, We will. We will. I'll be waiting outside. I want to slop. Get this out of my bowl. Uh -uh. No one moves. We'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Okay, so as I'm watching this, I'm definitely getting like a shooter vibe from it, like straight up. Like, I don't know. It, right now, it's just all cutscenes. Like, I. Don't get me wrong, cutscenes are cool. This looks cool. Them down a little for you. But I don't know. I, I really like see some gameplay. Oh boy! Oh god! Shield out! Shield out! So yeah, I'm thinking this is either gonna be like a like um, Destiny, he only got one of my or kind of like a hero head. shooter. Maybe like Valorant. How bad is it? You're still mad at me? Lennox! Got him. Oh. One off, this is you! Got him! I am developing a taste for destruction. Goodbye. Goodbye! Enjoy your demise! Yeah, okay, the cinematics are cool. They're cool, but it's like... This would be, a very be honest, does this actually sell the game for you? Die. Don't worry, nobody's dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Like, personally, as I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is okay, but this hey, tells hey, me nothing. What are you doing? Other than that, they're gonna have quirky personalities. Getting us to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you and let go, I swear me. I will be. Oh, look, there they are. Hi. What the? God. Oh, God. I am glad you avoided a dishonorable death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was going to work. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. All right. Another satisfied customer. 
goods delivered, I send everyone their cut. Ooh, yeah. So do you, like, carry it around with you for emergency bland situations or whatever? Hey, Mara. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. <laughs> Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. Yeah, we'll no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. We were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never feel your That's fire. That's it. Straight up scared. Marvel. So Do people like this still? Like, I don't know. I feel like people have been getting tired of the whole Marvel, like, personality kind of stuff. Where everybody, everybody is kind of quirky in some way or form. You know, giving out punchlines and all that crap. Concord is a 5v5 first person shooter. No, so there it is. Okay, we got Overwatch, so there it is. Concord Galaxy. In Concord, from the moment you log on, I was gonna say it had to be like Valorant, Star. Overwatch, or freaking guns Destiny. Hire known in our galaxy as free gunners. Free gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high stake jobs on worlds across wild space, where they face other fiercely competitive free gunner crews. Here's the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. Now the question is, is a game like this actually Free going running. to survive in this day and age it's now? Work, but it's our work. Like, and we don't take it for granted. Being a free gun. I don't know, I feel like we're getting kind of well, like tired with free. like um right on hero target. shooters. Yeah, you better run. Free gunners have a shot at making like, it looks cool, themselves. don't get me wrong. Our that looks it looks cool. Someone. But like it's just so it sounds overdone. Like Overwatch is doing okay right now. People are kind of okay right with Marvel. Like I hear good things about it, but at the same time, I hear like people are just like it probably won't last long. I don't know. Why not? And in the wild, it's like at this point you already know what you're expecting. You know what you're gonna play. You know what you're gonna get. What makes them stand out from the other freaking over are like hero shooters? Ah, backhand! Endless rage! We risk our lives every day to do the job. I'll clear the way. Time to show them the big guns. That's me. This crew will go anywhere. Oh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at I'm just thinking it's okay. I will say though, like, there's one thing that always gets me about these sci fi games. We are in a sci fi setting, we're in a futuristic setting. Why are we using a basic bitch handgun? With the free gunner crew of the North Why am I seeing a sniper rifle, like a plain one? Together. Not a futuristic one. Where, where is my sci fi like weapons? I mean, okay, we got the robot. Don't get me wrong, we got the robot, but still. And like everybody's like, well, uh, well, no, I was gonna say, but I was gonna say, I guess a lot of them are human, but yeah. The crew is gathering. Would you like to join us for game night? With Concord, we lean on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of our attention and our tech on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games, fighting and games. even strategy games and the interesting way that the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, really pushing the possibility space of two different characters colliding, it's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game, so whether that's multiple okay. rounds of a mode, or multiple respawns across a map. That is, is at least it's something pads, different. Bullet blocking domes, explosive traps, lane blocking walls, all kinds of ways to support your team or disrupt your enemies. Coordinated teams. Yeah, can I don't know. Like, ahead, okay, that's like firewall. It's pretty much a grenade. grenade. That's something advantage. different. We've got everything from mystics and medics to gunslingers and spark robots. Every character brings their own unique personality, skills, and wide ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week, when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that yeah, can the last forever. stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting a pre-launch beta in July, mm. followed by Concord's global launch on August 23rd. I'm assuming it's free to play, yeah. Like, I can't imagine this 
not being free to play. Like anything, like a multiplayer game like this, if it's not free to play, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt them a lot. I feel like we're at the day and age, this era where everybody, everything has to be like free to play. At least when it comes to multiplayer games like this. But again, it's like you're in a sci-fi setting. Like push the boundaries a little bit. I mean, this is just, just my opinion. I'm sure there's people like, yeah, guns. I'm just thinking like, if you're in a sci-fi setting and you have the chance to just go absolutely buck wild, go buck wild. Make some new freaking sci-fi bullcrap. Sci-fi jargon or whatever. Just just go nuts. Make some laser sound or just something. Calm and oh, I can't wait to see the mods out happening on this damn game. Are you? <laughs> you know people are gonna mod the crap out of it. You're gonna be see Homer Simpson. That's gonna be Marge. This is gonna be so crazy. We don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? Which, by the way, this war game is, is excellent. Absolutely the good. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. Just don't play on God of War. Like, I played on God of War. It's good if you want to challenge, but it makes Kratos feel like a punk. <laughs> he feels so weak and it sucks at the same time. It burns me. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve. Ultra wide support. Oh boy! We have guests! That's actually kinda cool. They're too fast! Look out! Includes the Valhalla DLC, which was free on the freaking um, PlayStation. Which is actually really freaking cool. Not gonna lie. What's like they had to make it free, but they went out of their way to do that. That's because it is written. You gotta respect developers that do that. That just shows how much faith and how much they love their games. That they want people to actually experience that. Coming to PC, which I'm assuming that means Steam. Soldiers and officials alike oppress the people for personal gain. And the people must turn to thievery for food. Goes to Tsushima too. No. <laughs> no way. Perhaps this is heaven's way of lamenting the state of the land. Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. But even so, someone must act. Dynasty warriors. Dynasty freaking warriors. Oh my gosh. I, okay, straight up. I didn't know this series was still going. It's been ages since I played a freaking Dynasty Warriors game. Like, don't, it's a fun series. It's like, it's like junk food for your brain, man. You just turn your brain off and just go around and beat that relevant crap out of freaking, a uh, freaking army. It's fun as hell. At least for what I remember. But I stopped, I never played open world one. So it's kind of cool to see that they're actually continuing the series. It's cool that there's like a whole, there's still people who actually buy the series. Like they got audience and they're actually catering to them. That's pretty cool. Momo, I think I was dreaming. What is? It wasn't a dream. <gasps> we were really transported to uh, here. Right? Uh, the path of a stylist I is mean, never easy. Uh. So, are you ready for it? Ready! We're ready! Ready! I don't know what to say about this game. This is like a weird style. Wait, okay, okay, okay. Um. It's reminding me like of a mobile game. Does that make any sense? It's like the art direction. I mean, it looks okay. Not something that I would touch, but it's okay. Like, I guess it's like an anime style? I don't know, it just reminds me of a freaking mobile, like, game. It's just, just a style about that makes it really feel like it's fits for the phone or something. Because they always try to do that anime, realistic kind of, like, look for it. It's like, eh? I don't want to say that about that. The main people put their heart and soul into this game and really want to make something. I don't know what they were trying to make with this. <laughs> infinity Nikki. Like I'm guessing a platform. You who pursues infinity, or is infinity awaiting you? 
Infinity is awaiting you. Stars. Shields. I have seen the miracles you so play. Yeah, good music, I guess. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Until the towering shadows vanished. Dark Souls? I pray. Long edition? All that came were inferior shades. I'm definitely getting Dark Souls vibes from this. Why do we have to bear the consequences of such power? Time. War. Mortality. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, you're playing as different peoples? Maybe it's not like a freaking Souls like game. Way you with emissaries. Grant us the forgotten miracles. I was gonna say, it's kinda of reminding me of what is it, the wolf in the <laughs> Ah, I can't remember. It was pretty much a samurai that's always like carrying the child with him. I can't remember the name of it though. Remember. It's interesting, no but that, happens, you know, that means you can't have, like, crazy death kill attacks on the main character. It would be horrible with the little child on his back. Ballad of Antara. Okay, it looks cool. It doesn't really tell me exactly what the game is. I'm thinking it's like a Souls-like game, though. But the fact that it has, like, multiple characters makes it like, hmm, where are you going with this? Sky Dance's Behemoth. Sky Dance Games! PlayStation VR 2 and PS5 console required. Uh, I thought I could be a hero and break the curse. That kind of sucks. But that's just because I have uh, freaking PlayStation VR. Or at least the PlayStation VR 2. No I had the first one. And the gods that walk among us thirst for death. So, no! I don't know, I, I miss VR. I, I miss playing VR games. VR games are fun, I don't care what people say. It's just, I know like a lot of people just want to sit down and hold a controller. I like immersing myself into the game. Once you like really get into it, you feel like you're just there swinging at things stuff. Until you hit the wall and then break your hand. <laughs> yeah, the then you end up, well, begs me to kill. just try not to hit something important, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'll put you in the ground. It looks cool. It looks really cool. I, I'm hoping they have the good sense to not just leave this on the PlayStation VR though. Thought I could be a hero. Like, but heroes don't like, okay, that looks cool. That looks really cool. That looks amazing. I wish it wasn't on the PlayStation VR too. Okay, so what I was gonna say, exclusive having games be exclusive. I don't know, like, in this day and age, it's starting to seem like a really bad idea. Games are getting way too costly. You want to hit every single market that you possibly can now. Or actually, at least for the AAA devs, you know, they, they, they just... You know how it goes with them, like, holy crap, dude. So, I hope that they had the good sense to, like, move it to Steam at some point, or even the, um... I guess, what, Oculus? Yeah, the Oculus Quest. Or, I'm sorry, Meta. Meta. Oh crap, are we getting another freaking um, Alien game? Alien Isolation? Oh gosh dang, I just saw the PlayStation VR. Oh, those frame rates though. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Why is it looking like that? Alien Rogue Insurrection. Hmm. Doesn't really tell you what type of gameplay is gonna like what you're gonna get if it. Is it gonna be a horror game or is it gonna be like one of the um was it Aliens Fire Team, I think that's what it was? Pretty much a uh, shooter. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation, starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter playable soon on PS5. Highly anticipated PvP shooter. All right, what we got? Oh gosh. <laughs> Hope you like your hero shooters. We got hero shooters for everybody. You don't get a hero shooter, you don't get a hero shooter. Alright, All right, I heard you're like decent stuff about this game. Ooh, Venom. All realities converge here. 
I do like that since third person, I will say that. Venom's looking kind of cool. I, I kind of like it. Who the hell are you? Oh. Oh, okay. Stronger together. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, with uh, Conrad, you're not seeing stuff like this. Everybody's using, like, shooting, like, basic guns. You're seeing kind of, like, cool effects with this one. Okay, well, he's using a basic bitch gun. Wait, I mean, come on. But when you're seeing magic, you're seeing, like, big old melee venom and stuff. You do with a sword, flowy sword. You, I mean, it's not sci fi, but they're doing, it feels like they're doing more stuff visually with their game. That's Reaper. <laughs> that was just straight up Reaper. Come on, man. Gonna get sticky. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm saying, like, if you're gonna do a hero shooter, you just need to go over the top of it. Make it as visually appealing as possible. Like, f just give it flair, give it style, give it something that makes it stand out from other hero shooters. Mind you, this is still kind of, who the heck? Let's see how mankind has conquered space. Galactus Female Edition was rule. Oh, wait, let me not say rules. <laughs> I might say the wrong one anyway. Eh, looks okay. Costume, Scarlet Spider. I, I don't know. Maybe at some point I will actually try this game. I'm so used to Overwatch that I'm just like, that's all I need. Because I'm gonna say this. Battle passes make games into like a job. And too many games have battle passes now. So it's hard to like for me to want to say, oh wait, hold up. This is looking, oh, this is looking nice. What's going on here? We got another Souls like game? Sekiro? One on one Okay, okay, the enemies are looking okay, but we'll let me see the character do some stuffs. I want to see him do some fancy stuffs. Crouching tiger hit his souls like where winds meet. Okay. That was a. Uh... That was okay. That was like a teaser. It was like a teaser. And it showed enough. Hey, I mean, okay, I know. I, I, maybe I'm being greedy. I just want to see more gameplay. Hello, I didn't see gameplay. <laughs> Damn it. I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the end. I want to see what the Black character does. Winter getaway. What is this? Oh, uh, what is it? <laughs> Before dawn? No. What's this game called? Hide me, Michael. It's been so long yeah. since I played this. Oh. It's pretty much a horror game that was on the PlayStation so like uh, four, that we're all still maybe three. Fight the brave. Kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of thing, I where you make choices and it. hopefully you don't get all the characters killed. Someone out there. Let's make this one trip. Until dawn, we'll never forget. Oh. It might be able to. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they call it. Mike, Emily. making this game like really okay okay it's kind of cool like i don't know I, my first playthrough i enjoyed it but it's like making me think like who out there was like asking for a remake of this game i feel like they're trying to remake everything instead of making something new until dawn okay so it wasn't until dawn that's okay i mean do we really need a remake of until dawn like, maybe if they add some stuff to it, like a remaster, like maybe new events and uh, such, it could be kind of cool, but otherwise it's just like... Just play the PlayStation 4 version. Unless you're really desperate for graphics, like, upgrade graphics to maybe 60 FPS or some bull crap. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's not for me. Hogan was once a peaceful was land. But each day descends further into madness. Famine and plague besiege us. Right. The very earth is being poisoned. The Count's men 
Once our protectors have turned on us. And now they come for me. Alright, we got Diabloish. We got Dia or is it just straight up Diablo? I have not seen the new Diablo, I don't know. Like the hunters remind me to make me say Diablo. That and the person turning into a druid. <laughs> Our druid. He turns into a druid. It's just a human who wants to believe he's at us. He turns into a bear. This nightmare. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself. But I need not do it alone. Couch co-op. The fact that that is actually cool is really bad. <laughs> you don't get couch co-op games anymore. Everybody wants you to double dip. Crossplay, all right. Cross progression. That is actually kind of cool. Good to let you have that kind of freedom. What is this? Do, 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 do. Path of Exile. Path of Exile. I have not heard that name in forever. Path of Exile 2. Alright, if I remember the first one, wasn't the first one free? Oh, mm, Alright, no, no, not too bad, not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I'm for it. Oh, Excuse God, Silent me. Hill. I'm sorry. I, I was just... It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Alright, let's see. Hill. I think you should stay I away. I want to say... Down. There's something hopefully they improved on the game. Wrong with it? I don't know. Like, I remember the first trailer, it was okay. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It oh, didn't seem bad, but everybody was saying... I'm not lying. Oh my god, you're a freaking chin woman. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. Like the opposite of the person like, Who you call a pinhead? You call him no. blockhead. <laughs> Let me stop. That's me. I'm, not gonna call it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. Gameplay. Gameplay. Hmm. I mean, I'm. Okay. So they're definitely copying Resident Evil 4. Or maybe they're just inspired by. It. Maybe. I'll, yeah. Let's just say inspired by. It. I'll be good. I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. A lot of people are giving this game crap for that, and I'm just like, you know, I mean, the combat was never really good in Silent Hill games from what I remember. No. So I'm kind of glad that they're taking this route. Though there's just still something a smidge off about the gameplay. We'll see, though. I would like to try this game. Watch the Silent Hill transmission. Oh, all right. Capcom announced this next game last December, offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer. Yes, for there we Lions. go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm here for. I am a Monster Hunter fiend. I love Monster Hunter. Play this since the first one. The original Monster Hunter. Oh my gosh, y'all can listen to this. As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great. You bet. Was that the Polico? I hope we find him soon. So they're definitely going in on the voice actor now. Look. Hopefully they give the option for you to have the monster to talk because I know people are going to get pissed about that. People want to hear the Incredible. I've never heard of a Karatnoth heard this big before. I'm fine with the English voice actor now. Okay. got big spikes on its back. Show me the gameplay. Oh, what the heck? That monster looks disease. Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> now to lead it away from the pack. We'll make for the desert. Right. Oh, they don't got pallet butts. The they got storm. they got horse birds. Raptors. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I hope they kept the freaking Rise Grey Sword. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. I like that. They actually, slap the dead monster towards you to knock you down. Ooh, that's all. Ooh. Okay, it looks like we got. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna miss wire bugs. Oh, wait. Where'd you even come from? Now we pull out the gun. So you're gonna switch uh, on the fly? Oh, stance. Ooh, yes. Knock him down. Why is it sliding through? Oh, oh, yes, that looks kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. For this expedition. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm the one who liked the freaking combo version of the freaking Great Sword, okay? Don't get me wrong, though, I really love that big old numbers. Oh, that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. That's dynamic. I love that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's okay. That's going to be cool. Ah, short, though. Oh, I want to see a show more. I want to see a full on hunt. I want to see a full freaking hunt. So, get bonus in Monster and Wild. So, World and Iceborne. No Rise, though. Damn. Why are you hating on Rise? That's, okay. okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm guessing the game's going to be open world. They didn't show a lot, though. I'm a little sad about that. What is this? It's like they gave you a, like a little taste. It was like a showcase. It was a little rough, but you know what? I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a monster. Come on. Astro Bot. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay. This is looking kind of. Uh, what did you say? This is kind of neat. It, lo it looks. <laughs> it looks fun. <laughs> like they. I don't know. There's just something about how they're um, presenting this. But like after you know seeing a bunch of cutscenes and whatnot, it's nice to just see freaking gameplay. Like, oh, oh, I see that more. Like, I'm getting, like, Mario Odyssey vibes. A little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I know this is going to sound nonsensical, but it's just, it feels like a game. Like, this trailer. This is, like... Yeah, I can't believe it's still going for one. Like, it's dy- it, I mean, okay, not dynamic. No, screw that, dynamic. I'm saying dynamic. Look at that. They're showing gameplay. They're showing the bosses. They're showing the world. Some people like spoilers. I'm like, yeah, show me what this game offers. They're showing me gameplay. It looks fun. I don't even care about this game. It just looks fun. No, 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 no. It looks like it looks like the people who made it are having fun with it, you know? Free cradle sacks. Like that's it. Like the, as I said, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, this is a straight up video game. And that's good. This is the type of trailers we need more of. We need stuff that shows the game, highlights the world, shows the gameplay so you know what you're going to get from it. Not just a long ass cutscene. Don't get me wrong, cutscenes can be good, but it's just like. Sometimes it's just like nothing but cutscene, and then maybe like 10, sure 10 seconds of gameplay. Blog for more on the games you just saw, as well as PlayStation.com for the latest on Days of Play. This global celebration runs through June 12th, with deals on PlayStation Store, great new content, and also that looks like it's it. Yeah, that's it. and much more. Alright, that was that bad. Okay, that was kinda cool. Um shoot, I was liking it. I mean, okay, okay. I don't care about Concord. <laughs> I'm just gonna straight up say that. I'm like, eh, I'm whelmed. <laughs> I am whelmed. 
it, it didn't really show anything that absolutely made it stand out from other freaking like uh, hero shooters. In my own opinion, anyway. It's okay. As I say, if you're gonna do a hero shooter, you need to make that mug stand out. You need that thing to be spectacular, visuals out the butt, gameplay out the butt, something to make you just like, oh, this is cooler than Overwatch. This is cooler than that Marvel freaking Overwatch game. Marvel Alliance, Marvel, Marvel Rivals. I don't know, I haven't played it. Wait, wait, was, shh. Oh, I'm about to find out what's the name of that mug. You kind of get in it, you see it, like, that's cool. I like how everything's third person is that. That already changes it from a lot of hero shoes because everything likes to be first person. The visuals are cool. The movement is janky. The movement is janky as all hell, but like the visuals right there, that's cool. She jumps up and then she just starts throwing spirit bombs at people. Like, blah, blah, blah. Then we got generic soldier man with gun. Then we got wizard with his magical sword that he tosses at people. That's cool. That's just me. That's how I see it when I'm looking at type, these type of games, and I'm like, I need something to kind of hold my attention because ADHD or something. I don't know. Just like sometimes you just want, sometimes you just want people to jiggle the keys in front of you. Okay, damn it. It's <laughs> never wrong. Sometimes you just want that. Honestly, this game visually looks cool. It looks like a freaking mobile game, but let's go. <laughs> But yeah, it's okay. I, I, I find that better than Concord, personally. Like, visual-wise, Concord, like, just straight up graphics, not like actual style. It's cool. But it is like, I got gun. I got machine gun. I have a sniper rifle. I see that in COD. I see that in Call of Duty. Tight core movement. Of course, everybody's not gonna have the same opinion. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, that guy has shield. So we'll see. Maybe there'll be more to this game. We'll see in the future. Um, I don't know what this is. This was okay. Infinity Nikki was okay. It ain't something that's gonna break the bank or anything. But you know what? I will say this. Um, maybe this is gonna be a game for like kids to be like, oh my god, I want to play these platforming games. You know. Baby's first uh, platformer or something. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting from it. You know, we need games like that. We need every not everything has to be a triple A title. So you know what? Good on you. If this ain't no predatory bull crap that's gonna end up happening with the game, have fun with it. I'm fine with this. Give me some double A to look at games. I hope this game does decent enough that they actually like, yeah, we made a profit. Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> this game right here, I. Might try it. It's been a long, 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 long time since I played a Dynasty Warriors game. I want to see what they do to make this different. Like, I'm expecting to be like hundreds of people on the field that you can see. Not people magically disappearing and teleporting into you because the freaking system can't handle it. I want to see everything that's happening. So this might actually be a really fun game. I'm actually looking forward to uh, look at force that. Looking forward to this game. Okay, Jeebus. Words are hard. I'm sorry. English is my first language. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I have no idea what this is really going to be. This one is confusing. Ballad of Antara. Like, I'm feeling like it's going to be a Souls like game to a point. Where's the gameplay? Hold up. Show me. Show me some. Where's that gameplay? Again, these teasers right here, they're just, they're just teasers. At least it does show some gameplay. It just doesn't show enough in my opinion. Right now, it confuses me because I don't know what type of gameplay or how they're gonna take this game. But you know, it's cool that we get more Souls like That's my favorite genre, so I'm all for it. Skydance Behemoth. I wish this was on the quest or freaking steep. I'm sorry. I can't justify a purchase for a PlayStation VR. I'm not that much of an enthusiast, unfortunately. I want to be. I love VR games. I would love to record more VR games for you. But straight up, just like look at the gameplay itself. It looks fun. Good on them. Like I'm, I'm, I think Sony is making a really good game. Anything that makes it so, it looks immersive. It makes you seeing stuff like this. You can tell that they wanted to make it immersive and wanted to make you feel like you're in this world. Fighting these enemies, these raiders, giant bosses, and you're going around grabbing people, blocking. You're actually physically blocking. And pulling. Like, it, it's gonna be cool. It's giving me some very good vibes. I'm hoping this game 
that's good. Kind of like Blade of Sorcery, maybe. And maybe like Blade of Sorcery with a story. I'm for this. Whatever is going on with this, screw this. Alien, Rogue, and Insurrection. I don't know how they'll show enough gameplay. Less of this stuff, less of these kind of type of teasers. Less of these type of teasers, more. More of this. More of Monster Wilds, which just. Okay, there's a lot of cutscenes, I'm not gonna lie. There's a little. A little too much cutscenes for my liking, but they do show some gameplay. And they kind of give you a little tease. I want this except Astro Bot level. Show gameplay. Show me the stuff. Get me hype. Get me into this. I don't even like Astro Bot. Well, I won't say I like it. I just don't really know anything about the game. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is fun. This looks fun. This looks creative. This visually looks creative. Visually looks fun. Look at the water. Look at that. Look at the little bot running around punching his freaking glove. I'm high for it. The music has got me into it too. Like, uh, da -da 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 birds. It, it got me hype. I'm sure it's going to be super easy, uh, easy game for a little Timmy <laughs> to play. But even still, like, I'm looking at this. Little me would have been like, I want to play some Astro Bots. Mom, please give me Astro Bots. I want to play it. Let's go. <laughs> There's Kratos! <laughs> so I don't know. If okay, th this looks cool. If I'm gonna if I was to rate this like uh stay of play. Six out of ten. Six out of ten, seven out of ten if I'm being generous. It was fun. It was okay. It's not bad. It's okay. It could have been better. Too many games that's like cutscenes and only show you like a little tease. Like here, have a little dab. Have a little, have a little mm, uh, there you go, let me sprinkle some uh, a little a little salt on that little thing right there. That little salt on your macaroni. It's like, why are you doing this? <laughs> but otherwise, it's cool. I think it's cool. This shouldn't have been as long as it should have been. This this right here, like, less of this. Let less of this. Less of this. Or if you're gonna do it, make it like mix gameplay in with cutscene. I know they're trying to make you feel for these characters for this hero shooter, but I'm just like, eh? Like, what, six minutes? Well, yeah, around five minutes of this. I'm like, eh, eh. Gameplay. That's what people want to see. That's what gamers want to see. You can show off your movie stuff, but you really have to go in on the gameplay at the same time. You want people to be excited for your games. You want people to love your games. You want people to be ready, hyped, ready to just, just like jump into your game, play, oh, play Concord. I will, who starts out? I didn't even want to, I, I was there excited. I didn't want to go, who's Star Child? He looks super duper cool. Look at that man. Hurrah, Hulk Smash, whatever. I don't know. I just didn't really get that feeling. I wasn't really that hyped for it. But that can easily change with the actual game. We'll see in the future. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. That's just one thoughts of one gamer summon, okay? One VTuber summon, you know? <laughs> Maybe you guys will see different. Maybe you guys are hyped for anything. If you are hyped for anything, let me know in the comments. Let me show. Let's debate a little bit. Let's talk about what you guys like, you know? But until then, this has been Gail. I'm Audi. You guys have a good one, and I will see you on the next video. GG's, boys and girls, and those in between. I'm out!